again, Alexandra here. Today we're having a look at an issue I've had so often and that is taking a full picture screenshot of an email or just any kind of longer document that you want to take a screenshot of completely. So I have two solutions for this. All you have to do is go to your email, make sure you click on online version or view in browser to just view it outside of your email service provider. And then the first technique we can use is the full page screen capture extension. All you have to do, as you've seen, is click on it and you will get the screenshot in a matter of seconds and the quality is quite decent. You can then go to edit and then just cut it here so that you don't have these sides by going to more crop and then move this so you have a better zoom of the email and just work with these so you cut the sides of the screenshot and you're basically done with this email newsletter screenshot and honestly this is the quickest and cheap because it's free version. Now another solution I have for you is this Snagit capture tool. I will link both of them below so you can find them. Now I'm using just a trial right now because you otherwise have to pay for the tool. What you're going to do is just open this tool, click on capture, but make sure you have the capture cursor turned on. So click on capture and then depending on which area of the screen you want to take a screenshot of, you're just going to click on any of these scrolling arrows. In my case, I want this one. And the tool is automatically going to take a screenshot of everything. And from here, all you have to do is move these around a bit and cut the image. Again, the quality is very nice. And with this tool, you can also add a few more tweaks to it if you want to edit it some more. Another trick I found with this is to just simply click on capture once. I'm just going to click randomly and then I'm going to this launch a panoramic capture option. I'm simply going to select the area I want by moving these around and then I click on start. I'm obviously going to scroll down, scroll up again, click on snag it and click on stop. And then again, I have my full screen capture. Honestly, this is my preferred version, although it's a bit of a workaround, but it's just that I have the screenshot in its final version at the end. Now, if you liked this video or have any other questions, other suggestions, other ways you're doing this, just let me know and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.